Hi, this is Eric Sloof over at NTPro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you another awesome vSphere 5 feature and it has to do with the firewall because the firewall is back on the ESXi host. So let's hop over to our vCenter server and let's pick one of our ESX hosts. In this case we are going to the ESX4-R but it's running ESX5 ESXi to be specific and when you are going to the security profile you will notice that the firewall is back on the ESXi host so it has been absent for a while but uh, it's back and it's fully prepared for you so by default the firewall is enabled and it will allow you uh, the default ports like the vSphere client and, and uh, the console and there's one special thing you have to keep in mind and that is that you can also configure services and you can bind services to uh, opening or closing a port so what I mean is when I'm going to the properties and I'm choosing my NTP daemon we will see that the NTP daemon is running when I'm going to the options I can start automatically if the ports are open and stop when the ports are closed I can start and stop with the host or I can start and stop manually this means that I'm uh, automatically starting and stopping my NTP daemon when the ports are closed. Let's see if that's true. So the NTP daemon, the daemon is running. I think it's obvious that the NTP ports are open. So let's go to the firewall. This looks familiar. And when we are going to the NTP client, and I'm deselecting the NTP client, so disabling the NTP port 123 for UDP, and I'm clicking OK. I'm going to check my services again and when I'm going to my services the NTP daemon has stopped. So if I'm going to open the port again, I'm going to my firewall, I'm go going to enable the NTP port, then the NTP daemon should be running again. Let's take a look at the NTP daemon, daemon and yes it's running again. So keep that in mind if you are binding your services to the state of your ports then opening and closing a port will automatically start or stop your daemon on your ESXi host. And there's another cool new feature and it has to do with uh, the addresses that are allowed to go through the firewall. So in this case I have configured my NFS client and NFS is talking with my iSCSI iX2 and my iSCSI iX2 is hosted on, uh, on this IP address so my NFS client is allowed to go to the outside world through TCP but only to this address and not all addresses and uh, that's a cool feature so uh, you can also configure ranges of IP addresses or specific IP addresses so that's it for now keep your ESXi host secure and thanks for watching Eric Sloof is signing off and we'll be back with some other Awesome videos. Bye bye.